Hi friends, let's do some music mapping today. And with music mapping I mean like synchronizing your visuals to real-time music. And with Wavesum we make software for exactly that. Uh, Wave Clock is the cheap one, the Wave Tick is what we're using today, and Wave Tick Studio is the expensive one. WaveDix works really well with this modulate software mostly because of these um, modules that we wrote so you can go get them at the online library um, everything that starts with W basically um, WaveTick WaveTick wants other ones to go for and I have them here open they are all these and we're gonna go them through one by one I start off by starting the music and wave stick of course um, there it goes ticking away and because I'm listening to drum and bass today I will set it to the rabbit mode so it basically gives the hint to the wave tick that okay this is fast music so um, it can anticipate uh, higher tempos and it gives it a bit more robustness um, so yeah let's get to it um, the first module I'll show is the text change. So you just specify some text you wanna say and specify different phrases with comma like this. Uh, And when I press play, it starts to work. And this separate text module that is that comes with modulate, this is the one you need to use to change the size of the text or the font. Yeah. So it's simple as that. Now it's synchronized to one bar, but if I want it faster, I put it to beat. If I want it slower, I can use these multipliers here, so now it's like four bars. Yeah, that's super slow. So let's keep it at one bar. Um, I'm going to make a new layer and for this I'm going to use the slideshow module so that one you can use to change the media um, you give it the first clip you want I'll, uh, I'm going to take this and then press the get button and yeah it's there and then you select the last clip you want and press the get button here and when you press the go button it's gonna go yeah so so I'm gonna change this a bit slower so I'm gonna take four bars for the media to change and this fade button you can use to make it transition smoothly um, the next one is the pretty uh, generally useful module called function you can use it to automate any parameters in the modulate interface so I guess I could apply a blur to the text so I pick the blur amount and when I 
press play, it starts to wiggle, enable the blur, yeah, and this the speed again, um, this the amount, like the maximum and the minimum, so let's make it go from zero to just a little bit. I guess I could pick some more, let's pick some color automation, yeah, that was ugly, uh, no, I took, yeah, wait, yeah, that one is better, so let's take that, And there's like a few different functions. So this is the sine wave. This is a triangle. Uh, maybe it's more apparent when I slow it down a bit. The cut makes it just switch between two values. Yeah, so maybe linear and a little bit less. the box blur I think it's better than the other one but now it's not doing much so sorry about my mumbling I'm literally making this up as we go almost okay that's uh, one scene what else yeah the movie seeker so let's make another one at the b-bank take something 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 oh maybe i use this simple procoli movie as an example so we have an mri scan of a procoli and when i put on the seeker and uh, now it's randomizing it every bar the position in the movie and when I put the step mode um, now it's doing nothing because the dial here is on the center but if I take it forward it starts to notch forward okay I switch, switch it to beat uh, I slow down the speed so it's even more apparent what it does And if you take it left on the center, then it uh, jumps back. Yeah. And you can give it um, longer videos too, like... Um, let's see if I have anything here. Um, So this is like uh, some stuff we did with the old food. Now it's randomizing the position for every beat. It l works very really well for long clips because uh, it makes a lot of variation. The next one is the scene change. So let's make really quickly some more scenes here. So this one could be a slide, doing a slideshow with the Tetsuo clips. Let's get that one. Let's get that one. Let's get it up. Make some uh, colors. Oh, this rough stuff. 
motor penis. Uh, uh, I wouldn't want to see that in my bedroom. Um, go. Yeah. And another one with this. Uh, with the stop motion Hitler is a <laughs> and well yeah I just leave it at that so I can show the macho um, what is this hmm. doesn't make sense let's put this here yeah okay um, so with the wave scene macho, you just select some um, scenes you want. So th this upper row corresponds to the A bank and the lower row corresponds to the B bank. And I think I have media in the one and two in both. So I select those and put it to cycle mode. Oh, I got to select them again. And this, this one here is the fade. So when it's switching between banks, you can do a cross fade. Um, now it's instant, but if I put it to one bar, then it's doing a smooth one bar cross fade. And this is the multiplier in bars. So usually like eight or 16 bars works pretty well. I don't have anything here. Let's put something. Yeah, so that was a really quick crash course uh, to using WaveTick. When you use it, make sure you have the send phase enabled and the and MIDI events also, otherwise the function module and the uh, the function module needs the face. Um, what else? Yeah, there's also the lighting control modules which allow you to control some DMX lights. And there's the QC I'm gonna maybe release later when it's ready. But these ones I think will get you started pretty good. Um, and if you come up with any new ideas for modules, uh, you can send me email at wavesum.com. So, have fun music mapping. Don't get too... Uh, something